Hey guys and welcome back to Trenton and Heath. So today we are tackling a subject that a lot of you guys have requested in the comment section and we also said in our intro that we were going to be covering brands. And today we are doing a first glance review of the brand Mirman. Uh, it's, it's one of those popular brands that's out there, direct consumer brand. I hear it a lot on YouTube. Uh, you know, I've seen a couple come through here, not very many. But today we have tackled one or we have tracked one down and we are going to tell you what we think about Mirman. All right, so uh, these were brought in by a customer of ours and um, he wants to have some, uh, some salt protectors put on the bottom. But before we get into that, we're going to use these shoes so we can uh, tell you what we think about them. So the first thing that we thought when the, when the guy dropped them off, you hear a lot of different brands go out there. A lot of YouTubers are talking about different brands and one of the things that we want to be able to do on this show is actually crack open these different brands and show you the true quality and the craftsmanship of each you know brand of shoe out there. Now, unfortunately, we couldn't do that with this one. It's a new shoe. He's only worn them a couple of times, and like he said, they want to have sole protectors put on. But since we don't have a lot of Merriman shoes come through here, we at least told you know like we said we would at least do our first glance review of them. What are your thoughts? Uh, First glance from a looking at them right here, they're a pretty shoe. Man, they're, yeah. they're, they're, a good, they're a good looking shoe. I think one of the things I really like about it is everything on it appears to be leather. It's not a lot of man-made materials like a lot of foam and crepe and a lot of the things you see in a lot of other brands. It is straight up leather insoles, <clears throat> yeah. a leather footbed. I'm probably guessing it has a cork yeah, footbed I'm, as I'm well. I'm guessing it is. And you know, we can't tell until we crack one open, but just from looking at it, um, the insole is solid leather and it's not thin leather. I mean, no. it's, it's a good shoulder leather. Uh, when so you it, see it's a lot of keep it shape and it's yeah. really going to mold to your foot. One of the things that I noticed too is that you are getting a good year welted shoe. It's a three quarter welt, which is what you're going to see on a lot of you know really high end shoes, and it also has a blind stitch around there as well. So you can see, I mean, you know they they slice open that top layer of the sole, they stitch around it, and then they fold that flat back over, and that's something you just don't see on shoes. Whew. I mean, really? What under the under, under four, five hundred dollars? Uh, well, more probably, than that? Probably say more than that. Um, you're usually jumping up into the usually six plus yeah. before you start seeing you know closed channel uh, yeah. soles like that finished. Uh, so that it's the the channel when they cut it, um, it could have been cleaner. Um, some of them are all the way to the edge, and some of them are probably a two to three millimeters in. Um, but these things are, are cut on a machine and they're doing them quick. Yeah. Um, is, is that an excuse? Well, look at the price of the shoe. So, yeah. but by looking at it though, it's still very good. I'll have to check, but I think for what you're paying for this shoe, I mean, you're, you're low 200s for, for this shoe and just the quality that you're getting and some of the little, the details of this are what are so impressive. I mean, mm -hmm. at, at just over $200, you're like, Heat said you're getting things that you don't find on shoes until they hit probably around the five to six hundred dollar price range. Um, you're getting a stacked leather heel block. You just don't see that on a lot of shoes out there. Um, and you can tell just by looking, well as I can tell, just by looking at the, the heel breast right here that it is it is real stacked. Yeah. Uh, it is solid leather. Yeah. You're also getting a combination heel, so you're getting the leather rubber heel. Uh, you don't see that on a lot of, of shoes in this price range. Getting hill tacks yeah. that just give a more elegant appearance to it. Um, they've used glazing irons around the hill and around here. Yeah, um, very smooth around the hill block. Yeah. Uh, and, and as far as the uppers go, uh, the lining looks like it's calf skin, very soft. Yeah, I was trying to tell if that's a calf or if it's like an unglazed goat skin i'm not sure it's very soft yeah. um which is i mean what you're gonna want on especially a loafer yeah uh the stitching um it's single thread stitching uh, i mean it, it looks pretty clean uh the lines around the shoe the stitching i mean they appear to be good quality um top beating is clean yeah the suede the suede is pretty nice i i wouldn't say it's you know it's not top quality suede but 
but again, it's a nice weight. Um, I would definitely want this shoe in my rotation. Yeah. But I mean, what are what, other than maybe the uh, the blind stitching not being the cleanest on these? What are some of the things that you? Well, you can see it kind of more on on yours. Um, you start to get just under the channel. You get kind of a you know dot, and that's just where during the process, mass produced shoes, the stitches were just a little bit higher. Yeah, they weren't sunk in as much, so when they fold that back over and then they smooth it out, you're kind of seeing the, the tops of each of the stitches, but you can't feel it. It's still yeah. very smooth. And you're, yeah. gonna, you're gonna wear through that as soon as you start, you know, it, step on the pavement, yeah. it's gonna cover that up. Yeah, I mean, exactly. I would say these shoes somewhat have the look of what you're kind of hitting with Carmina. Again, you're, these are not Carmina, but they right the first glance you kind of see that it has some of the uh, the minor details or should I say it has some of the subtleties that you'll find again in those $500 plus shoes now the negatives and when I say negatives take it lightly because again you're you're getting this quality shoe for right around the $200 price point so there's not a lot of negatives to this shoe but there are some things again that are going to set this apart from a five and six hundred dollar shoe mm -hmm. and i think it's just the finishing details yeah. that i don't think are quite there with Miraman. um it's a super impressive shoe but just i think along probably with probably the sole the sole yeah. it's a little rough it's not super smooth and glaze what you would find on a very high-end shoe it's a little rough along here uh you can see when they when they paint the bottoms uh the stain kind of it's not consistent. It looks like someone just took a quick sponge and went around it. Um, again, super little, minor details that I've got a off. little roughness right here, and that's strictly where the um, sometimes during the sanding process, if you kind of don't kind of pull back on the, on the sander sometimes, it kind of gets a, a, a little burnt crust on the leather. It happens on shoes, and I'm guessing that may be what a little bit of this is. Sometimes you can even just get your fingernail and, and rub it off. But, you know, some people are like, well, I don't want that on my shoe, but it, I, I would probably say just a little bit of the finishing. Yeah, some of the finishing right here on the inside, uh, you can tell it, it's almost, it, it's nice and brown along here. And then there's like a, a sort of a reddish spot where it just yeah. looks like the uh, the stain didn't quite sit well in that It in looks that like It looks like where that was a little bit of glue yeah, and I'm when they went to ink it, yeah. it can't soak in because there's a little bit of glue over there, yeah. so you get a little discoloration. You, yeah, you can tell they waxed it. I mean, it's kind of flaking off. Yeah, but. it looks like, and I see more on this side along the welt. I wish that I, if it were me, um, I would wish that they would have gone after they uh, inked it, and they would have gone along with a little bit of an edge. Yeah, knife, just made it a little and smoother. And just kind of cut off that top edge because it is a little bit flaky right here, um, where it just kind of skipped along. But these are these are these are minor things. Yeah. These are because we see these all the time. And one of the things yeah, that we see shoes all the time, so, yeah. so we kind of low. But the average person would never know this stuff. Yeah, no, you really wouldn't. And just kind of a one last note. And I know if you haven't watched any Miraman videos at all, and this is one of the first ones you've seen, uh, just to throw it out there that these are designed in Spain, mm -hmm. but they are actually made in Shanghai. Um, it even says right underneath the uh, the tongue there. And that's one of the things that helps to keep the price point low on these shoes. Again, they're designed, the leathers I believe come are European leathers, but they send everything to China to have it, you know, the, the welt put on the shoe as a whole is put together there and then it shipped back to Spain. And I believe in Spain is where they do the finishing touches. And that again is what is keeping this price point so low. But going from there, is this a shoe that you would recommend and would you wear this shoe? Yes, I would recommend these. And one of the big things that I noticed just by when I first picked it up um, was it's hard to even tell if they put side stiffeners in here. And that side stiffeners are something you're gonna get on a much higher shoe strictly because it is good you're welted and so it's got that very firm, robust. Yeah. But one of the things about uh, loafers is they don't have stitches right here so this part right here if it's not very tight on that last 
it can it can very easily uh, lose its shape, and we see that in shoes um, that are a lot of mass produced shoes that yeah. are low quality. Yeah. But these are just the shape of it. Yeah, it you can it you was can hugging it. Yeah. that last. You can feel it. It's, yeah. it's pretty high quality. Yeah, at the two hundred dollar price point, it just, which is where most of these are coming in at, guys. I mean, Mirman is definitely a brand I would look at. Uh, like I said, I want to get another pair in here that we can crack open and look at the insides. But from everything that we can tell mm -hmm. from the outsides of it, this is an awesome, awesome shoe for what you're getting for $200. Good deal. Definitely would recommend it. It's definitely a shoe that he and I would buy and put into our closets to wear. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, that, I think I might do that. Yeah. That's our review for Merriman. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave us some comments below and let us know uh, what you think about this brand. If you have any, we would love to know what you think about it, how they wear and whatnot. And uh, until then, thanks for joining us guys and we will talk to you next time.